drivers of Uniben students' shuttle service are angered over the recent development of mode of payment. They are, however, calling on the school to rescind their decision. According to the drivers, they have been paying between 1,500 and 1,800 naira weekly for 18 seater and 22 seater buses without delay and wondered why the school authority decided to change their former arrangements. Some of the drivers accused Uniben security officials of intimidation. Most of the drivers here are not owners. They are the ones that pay route. It's the driver that pay route. And they never can take, the owner can take the vehicle from them at any point in time. So we said, do I want one week arrangement? What is the problem with it? We cannot pay the one month. That is why we are protesting. They should consider us and let this organization, this shuttle body, have a human face. We are not fighting anybody. They asked us to be paying even self six months before before they now come down to one month, and we which cannot be able to afford because we have not been defaulting for the one week we have been paying. Students who are at the receiving end have called on the school authority to wade into the situation before it escalates. We supply now to take public vehicle, which is like times two of the amount to my school. So it's really, really surprising. So I would want them to resolve whatsoever disputes they have or whatsoever thing is going on within them. I want to take a, sh a shuttle to, to Unibank Gate here. But I said they are trying every day, trouble, trouble. I'm tired of this country in short. Reacting to the development, the Uniben Public Relations Officer, Mr. Mike Osasui, said the school authority has set up a committee to ensure drivers working within the campus are put under proper check, which he pointed out gave birth to the monthly system of payment and urged all the drivers to comply with the new rules and regulations. On the issue of alleged molestation of drivers, the Public Relations Officer, Mr. Osasui, debunked the allegation. It is nothing strange. What the school has said is go and work. Instead of coming to pay us weekly, work for two weeks, don't pay. The third week in that month, you remit the previous two weeks. And then the other two weeks in the month, you remit everything at once. By then, we are able to check all of those that would want to, you know, dodge from uh, paying the necessary dues. No exception. They are all expected to comply. It is expected that the situation will be amicably resolved in the interest of students. Patience Osaugiwa reporting.